Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about breadth for search. It is a very important topic from gate exam perspective and it comes in various forms like for example you might get a question for traversing a tree or a graph data structure using BFS which is breadth for search or you may get a question to find the shortest path in a tree or in a graph or you might get a question to find the connected components or a graph of a graph and it is also called as a wire routing algorithm so you might get a question with that name as well so today in this session we are going to discuss an example of this and we're going to see how this works so breadth for search basically works with the use of the queue data structure so we use the nq and dq operations in this and we're going to see how this works so let's take a queue over here okay now we are going to start with the first vertex which is one over here and since there is an arrow so this specifies that this is the starting vertex now whichever vertex we are going to start first of all what is the logic behind this algorithm the logic is that you always process the neighbors of the current node and then you move to the next level to process the other nodes so you always process the nodes level by level that is the top uh, basic logic behind this and the queue data structure helps us to follow this logic to take care of this logic okay so now queue has two important things which is the front and its rear part so therefore i've marked it like this and you always dequeue when you uh, dequeue an element when you take out an element you take it out only from the front and when you insert you insert at the rear so whenever i'm going to insert i'm going to insert at the end of the queue which is the rear and when i'm going to take an element out i'm going to take it out from the front okay so that is the main uh, logic uh, followed in a queue data structure now we're going to start with the bfs on this graph which we have over here so we start with one and when we process one we are going to say that we have already visited this node now we are visiting this node and we are going to mark it with a color so let's say i am visiting one so i'll mark it as as one and i am inserting it in the queue so i in i insert it in this queue so since there is no other element present it comes to the front okay so now when i process one what i'm going to do is i am going to take it out of the queue and i'm going to insert its neighbors into the queue okay so now i take it out and what i do i insert its neighbors so what are its neighbors its neighbors are two and three so i insert them over here now you may have inserted as three and two as well so that uh, basically forms the different uh orders of a bfs and there are multiple bfs orders possible as we may see shortly okay so uh now the next element that we'll process is the first element of this queue which is two so when i take two out i'll mark it as visited and i'll start processing two now when i process two there were there is only one neighbor of two present over here which is one which is already processed okay or which is already visited so we are we have no more node to be processed over here no more work to be done over here so we are done with this too so we move on to the next element so which is the next element in the queue we have three over here so now what we are going to do is we are going to take three out and we are going to process it so when i take this three out I am basically visiting this node what will i do i'll insert its elements in the queue sorry i'll insert its neighbors in the queue so which are the neighbors the neighbors are four and eight which are directly connected to this three right one is one is also a neighbor but it's already visited so we are going to insert the unvisited neighbors in the queue which is four and eight okay so in the next run what i'm going to do is i'm going to process four I take four out I mark it as visited and then what I do I insert its neighbors which is five six and seven in the queue okay yeah so 
So 8 is already there in the queue. No problem. We insert 5, 6 and 7. Okay. So in the next run, we are going to process 8. So I take 8 out. Mark it as visited. And I insert its neighbors. Right? Its neighbors into the queue. So what are its neighbors? Now 7 is already in the queue. So we'll insert 9. Okay, so next in the next run, I'm going to process 5, which is the first element in the queue. I process 5. There is no more neighbor, which is unvisited, we connected with 5. So we are done with 5. We move on to the next element, which is 6. So I take 6 out. Right. I take 6 out. I mark it as visited. Now 6 has a neighbor 9 which is not visited yet but it, it's, but it is in the queue. So I do not need to do anything else over here. So, so we are done with this also and we move on to the next element which is 7. Now I take 7 out, mark it as visited. No neighbor of 7 is left unvisited. So we are done with 7 also. Then finally we process 9. Our, our last element in the queue. Now when I process 9, I mark it as pink. There is no neighbor of 9 which is left unvisited. So we perform nothing over here. We just mark it as visited. So now we have to give our BFS order. So now what is the BFS order over here? The BFS order is nothing but, but the order in which you have processed these nodes. So you may just check your queues over here and write the order in which you have processed the nodes. Okay, so I write down first, I took one out, I processed one, then two, then three, then 4, then 8, 5, 6, 7, 9. So that is your BFS traversal order. Now next important thing which comes in the exam is they ask, they ask you about the BFS tree. That give the BFS tree corresponding to this graph. So we are going to draw the BFS tree. Okay. So, how are we going to draw the BFS tree? It is very simple. You just need to uh, mark the edges which are connected to the nodes in the order you have processed them. So, it is very easy. See, what we'll do is we first, we first visited 1 and then we visited 2. So, this is the edge using which we have, uh, we might have reached 2, right? So, I mark that. Then we processed, then we process 3. So I reach 3 using 1. So this is the edge 1, 2, 3. I mark that. Okay. Then we processed 4. So I reached 4 from 3. Okay. Then we processed 8. So now when we processed 8, what we did was we inserted, we inserted 9. So how did we reach 9 then? We reach 9 using 8. So therefore we need to mark this. Similarly, when we processed 4, what we did was, when we processed 4, we inserted its neighbors 5, 6, 7. So we reached 5, 6, 7 using 4. Okay. So now we are done. 5 Because we have visited all the nodes. Okay. So these two edges. Let me mark it with a different color. Yeah. These two edges. We didn't use these two edges. So what are these two edges? These are the extra edges, right? So now, first of all, let me draw this tree and then I'll tell you the role of these two edges. One. Then we have two over here. We have three over here. We have eight. Four. We have 9, then we have 7, 
6, 5, and we have, yeah, done, yes, and we have some extra edges, which is 8 to 7, and 6 to 9. So now clearly you can see that these two ex extra edges are connecting the uh, nodes from two different branches. This is a different branch and this is a different branch. Let me mark it, let's say with plate. This is a different branch and this is a different branch. So as you can see, these edges are marking or connecting the nodes from two different edges. So such such uh, edges are known as cross edges. So we name it as cross edges. So you might get a question in which you you might be required to mark the cross edges. So such edges are cross edges. Okay. So we are done with this question. We have uh, I guess we have answered all the respective questions which might be asked from this particular question. And I'll get back to you in the next video with some more questions, uh, with some more examples, with some more concepts. Till then, stay tuned. Happy learning and practice more and more. Thank you. And also please like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Thank you.